The English novelist D. H. Lawrence completed his last work, Lady Chatterley's Lover, in 1928, and it was first released in a private edition at the time. The uncensored version was not made available to the general audience in the UK until 1960. Because of the book's graphic depictions of intercourse, as well as its use of four-letter words that were considered unprintable at the time, it was banned in a number of nations throughout the world. The first chapter of the novel is set around two years after the end of World War I, at a time when England was still in the process of emotionally and physically healing from the war. It concentrates on the marriage of two characters, Lady Chatterley, who was born Constance Reed, and her husband, Clifford Chatterley. Clifford Chatterley is an aristocrat who has inherited Ragby Hall, an estate located in the East Midlands of England, which is a region that is well known for its involvement in the coal mining business. Constance is also well born and studied in Germany, where she gained the ability to engage in intellectual discourse. In 1917, she married with Clifford because she realized that conversing with him intellectually stimulated her. However, shortly after their wedding, he is sent back to the front lines, where he suffers an injury that leaves him paralyzed from the waist down. After spending two years in the hospital for his recovery, he and his wife eventually make their way to the Ragby estate. Lady Chatterley had never really given any attention to the subject of intercourse before. Although she has had sexual encounters before her marriage, she is much more interested in males for the intellectual discussions that can be had with them. Constance feels restless as she spends more time in Ragby. As a writer, Clifford craves recognition and acclaim, and he has a large number of other academics over to their house on a regular basis. He is unable to be with her, but he does give her the impression that he would enjoy having a child, as long as he is kept in the dark about who the child's biological father is. One of these visitors is a fellow author by the name of Michaelis, and it is at this time that he and Constance begin an affair. Constance acquires the ability to keep Michaelis contained inside her as he climaxes, as well as the ability to climax herself after he is satisfied. Michaelis, in contrast to Clifford, is not a member of the aristocracy and does not come from a privileged background. Constance continues to have feelings of emptiness despite being with Michaelis. She starts her day by going for strolls around the woods on the Ragby estate, and discovers a shack in which Oliver Mellors, the gamekeeper, raises pheasants for breeding. The gamekeeper is at first hesitant to give her a key, but she persists. She unintentionally witnesses the man's bare chest one day, which thrills her. She then returns home and studies her own nude body in the mirror. When Constance's sister arrives to visit her, she observes that her sister does not seem to be in good health. Hilda is adamant that Clifford hire a nurse so that Constance is relieved of some of the responsibility of assisting Clifford in daily life. Clifford gives in, and the two of them end up hiring a lady whose name is Mrs. Bolton. Due to the fact that Mrs. Bolton enjoys spreading rumors about the residents of the town, Clifford ends up having a wealth of material to utilize in his writing. Mrs. Bolton is well aware of his aristocratic background, and she complies with every request that Clifford makes. Constance keeps up with her daily walks. She is at the gamekeeper's shack in the woods one day, as they are keeping an eye on the chickens. After seeing that she has shed a tear, he invites her inside the shack and begins to seduce her. Constance is re-energized by this and starts to feel much closer to the forest's trees and flowers. Constance, at first, attempts to divert her attention away from the situation by avoiding going back to the hut. But, she runs across the keeper once again, and he seduces her in the woods. She has a completely new experience she climaxes at the same time as the man. 
While this is going on, Mrs. Bolton starts to get suspicious that Constance has a lover. Constance slowly comes to the conclusion that she despises Clifford, and she also starts to believe that the rest of the world is mad. She is critical of the way the world operates, believing that everything in it is dedicated to some kind of mechanical functioning that serves no real purpose other than the accumulation of more money and industry. Constance keeps coming back to the woods and the cottage in order to continue having intercourse with Mellors. Because she is sometimes too preoccupied with herself to really appreciate it, it serves as a valuable learning experience. In order for her to participate in this animal behavior, she will have to learn to suppress her individuality. Constance and Clifford go out enjoying a stroll in the woods one day when Clifford's wheelchair breaks down. Constance is enraged when Clifford forces Mellors to push him up a hill. In the meanwhile, Constance chooses to go with her sister and father to Italy, where she will act having taken a boyfriend. She is aware that Clifford's mood might change if she had a partner who came from a lower social class, as the keeper does. Just before she departs for Italy, Constance becomes pregnant by Mellors. Constance goes to Italy and stays there for a few weeks. Meanwhile, because Mellors has requested a divorce, Mellors' wife shows up to Ragby Estate, and she begins accusing Mellors of having an affair. Clifford ultimately decides to release Mellors from his position out of fear for any further harmful stories, and Mellors moves to London. When Constance returns from her trip to Italy, she finds him waiting for her. There, she tells Clifford that she wants a divorce and that she is pregnant in a letter. Clifford insists on Constance returning to Ragby Hall at least once. She reveals to him that the father is a man by the name of Duncan, but he remains skeptical. Constance ultimately acknowledges having a relationship with the gamekeeper. Clifford is quite irritated but maintains that he will not divorce her. Constance explains that her offspring will be the one to take ownership of Ragby Hall, but Clifford is not bothered by this at all. She leaves Clifford without getting a divorce. In the meanwhile, Mellors is preoccupied with his own divorce proceedings, so he is unable to be with Constance right away. Instead, he decides to spend his time working on a farm. At the conclusion of the book, they are still separated but they look forward to being reunited in a not-too-distant future. If you have any suggestion of which book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.